you know, and um, how he prepared the right way. Like, he's a starter um, each and every day, um, in and out, uh, day in, day out, in meetings and practices. So, like, you know, it, it was expected. You know, I knew he was going to go in and do his thing. There's a lot of talk coming into this game that it's hard to beat the same team twice. Well, you guys did it. How does it feel? It feels great, you know. Got to give all the credit to God, but it's a myth, you know. You can't be a team twice. But I don't know who, really, who came up with that, you know. It's a myth. It's just someone, something that someone says, you know. And you know, we uh, we beat the odds and we did that, so it feels amazing. How does it feel now to be able to have a bye week going into the playoffs? Uh, it feels great, you know. We want to take a little time off and right back to work, you know, because uh, like I said, you know, it's not finished. I'm gonna keep going and keep getting better. And for for some of us that weren't allowed to be out in the field, can you describe what that atmosphere is like? The scene and the hug. What was going on out there? Man, I, I think I just. Thought back to like last year in this game, you know, it, uh, the, uh, the ball wasn't in our favor, you know, it was on the other side, other team. So watching the confetti drop for us, so it's like an amazing feeling. Like it's on, you can't describe it, man. You can't describe that feeling. Like it's a once in a lifetime feeling for sure. Six sacks for the defense. Mm -hmm. What can you just talk about this performance and how big that was for you guys to bring yours down? Um, it's just something we work in and out for, you know, with Coach Schumann and all the defensive coaches. You know, they, they put, put us in great uh, for, uh, situations to go out there and play and ball. You know, we just got to execute and do our job. What would you say about Gunnar Stockton's performance coming in like he did for this team? I, mean, I love that dude, man. He works so hard. He doesn't complain about nothing. You know, he always got a smile on his face. You know, that's my guy, man. That's my guy, Gunnar Warner, man. That's my guy. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. To follow up on the side, y'all gave up some chunk plays, but you had six and like 14, 15 tackles for loss. How would you describe? Uh, just what the defense was able to do tonight, making big plays, get Texas to change. Uh, just resiliency, you know, just come back to our core values. You know, we was uh, backed up a couple times, you know. Uh, stuff wasn't going in our favors, you know. Gave up a couple plays, a couple shots, you know. But in the, the day, we had to keep going, you know. Then our end, the end zone to our end, so we just keep fighting. What's the mindset of the defense in that second half, knowing, you know, Gunner's in, we need to, to limit Texas as much as we can. How do you think you'll play in the second half over time? Uh, it's our team. It's a team game, you know. It's our brothers, so you know, we had we had to step it up and just keep on fighting, you know. Just be there for our team, you know. And that's something we really pride ourselves on. Over time last week, obviously, kind of took for what does it feel like to, to hold them to a field goal and allow the offense to to get a get a touchdown and have it only go one overtime. Yeah, we knew when we was up first, you know, you just had to get it back to our offense. They were going to do the rest. CJ, what was the difference defensively in this game? Oh, you mean like? How did you guys hold them back defensively? What was the difference in the plan this time? Oh, we just had to execute, you know. We had to. Uh, you know, we knew they was going to look for different stuff that we did last game, you know, just changing, tweaking a little bit. But they all just come down and execute, you know, tackling, getting out of blocks and um, effort and just running to the ball. That's all it boiled down to. Would you, you like to Dale's play game. Texas again? Would you like to match up with them again, potentially? I mean, whoever we have to play, you know, we'll be ready for it. You know, that's, that's one thing we, we will be, you know, whether it's Texas or wherever, anybody, you know, we just – Going to continue to focus on us and get better. So whatever team is in, it's in, in. What do you think about Dalen's game tonight? You said during your press conference that you were disappointed in last year's the championship game loss. You remember that feeling. What does it feel like now to be on the other side of that? <laughs> it feels great, you know, because like the confetti dropping, you know, you got your family and the fans and the crowd, you know, and everything you just work for throughout the year, you know, throughout the week, you know, and it just come down to that. So it's an uh, unstrived feeling for sure. CJ, what do you think about Dalen's performance today? He seems like he has great games against Texas. Man, Dalen, yeah, Dalen, Dalen definitely stepped up, you know. But that, that's him, you know. We knew he, he had it in him. I know he had it in him. So he, Dalen's a dog, man. So I'm not too much surprised anyway. So I'm just so happy for him, man. He's been through a lot, you know. And just for him to keep going out there battling day in, day in and out. So I, I appreciate that a lot. I know 